Everybody's looking for the perfect camera for YouTube. Does it have a mic input? Does it have the flippy screen to selfie? So I figured let's ask some YouTube legends what camera they use and why. And in this video, we talked to I Justine, Dan from What's Inside, and a few other of my YouTube friends, and they break down their setups coming up. Hey, what's up, Think Media? I'm here at CES with I Justine. How's it going? It's going great. I mean, CES, I absolutely love it every year. This is what I look forward to. Yeah, I love CES as well. And we're asking YouTube creators some different questions. And the first one is, what camera are you using the most right now and why? Well, it's funny because you came up to me. I'm like, I'm literally holding exactly what I use, the a7 III, the lens, the 24 to 70, and I have the AVX mic. And you guys are basically using the same setup that I'm using right now. Yeah, totally. So we know why we love it, but what was it out of all the cameras you've tested and everything you've tried that led you to this setup? I mean, the a7 III has such great autofocus that it's just, it really is unmatchable right now. And this lens is incredible. It gives you a great depth of field. The autofocus is really fast. I'm real into the autofocus. And I love this too because I can add in two mics and it's all into the camera, so I don't have to worry about syncing audio. Well, currently I'm using the Nikon Z6, which is from their brand new mirrorless lineup of full frame cameras. And I'm really loving it. The color science is great. The autofocus is up there with Sony and Canon. And I really feel like this is kind of one of the better all around systems for 2019. It's around $2,000 for the body on this camera and I'm getting true 4K full frame and I can crop in if I want. It's also got stabilization on the sensor. It looks a lot like a Panasonic camera to me. In fact, the stabilization is really good on this camera. So all around this camera really serves us well on our channel. I really think that taking photos for thumbnails, true photos is extremely important. So I have to have a photo camera as well as a video camera. And this is just a perfect hybrid for me. I love that. And what camera is your go-to camera right now and why? So my go-to camera right now is the Sony a7R3, even though I have the 73 right here, but the R3, 42 megapixel photos and crispy 4K videos, the best. Right now, a7III um, with a right now 1635 f4. And why'd you pick the camera? Um, like I mentioned, I was more, I'm more of a photographer initially. And so Nikon was, I kind of had the whole Nikon setup, lens, everything. And when I started moving over to more video, I just wanted a hybrid camera. I wanted to be able to still shoot, have really good autofocus, but at the same time, switch it over to manual and take a lot of photography shots. So as of right now, I think still one of the better kind of hybrid cameras. And one of the things that a7 III doesn't have is a screen that flips to selfies. So when you're shooting videos just at your home studio, how do you get around that when creating YouTube content? Um, I have at home, I have a little secondary monitor, so I'm able to at least frame myself, get the shot, and kind of make sure all my colors are okay. Uh, but when I'm out here, more than likely, if I'm vlogging, I'll just try to keep it as wide as possible, possibly shoot in 4K, then I crop it into, into it later if I'm going to be exporting out at 1080. Uh, so kind of do some hacks around that to get away from uh, not missing, missing the shot, at least. So shoot it, shoot it wider, and if I'm right now still exporting at 1080, I can crop in a little bit. Originally, I started off with my cell phone and I made over 400 videos with my cell phone. And now I've invested in this Panasonic GH5. And I, uh, I shoot a lot of 4K and I think that's, that'll give you that little extra edge because when search results come up and if you're doing the exact same video as someone else, if you're in 4K and they're in 1080, you're gonna be higher. I learned that from you. <laughs> so this is the Sony AX53. I like to call it my soccer mom camera. And it, because it looks like a soccer mom would have this thing. It's only around $800 at Best Buy. And the nice thing I like about it is I was not a film person before coming into this. Basically, I was a drug rep for a drug company. And so I needed something that would do the autofocus for me and be really good. This is really good with autofocus. And then also it has a 20 times optical zoom. So that's why it looks like a soccer mom camera because you can just optically zoom in 20 times. I was at the World Series up high and I was able to get the guys right on the field up close and it doesn't it take away the 4K quality at all because I'm not digitally cropping in. So, and then also 4K. The algorithm, at least three years ago when I got this camera, loved 4K videos. This one is cheap, it worked well. So anyway, I love this one. Super smart, user friendly, and then how'd you accessorize it? So it, the Sony mic is a great one because it's built in, it just has this little uh, attachment that goes in. You don't have to have a ca separate cable that plugs into it. And then um, what I've seen with a lot of the road mics where the problems have been is like your cable comes out or this one doesn't have batteries, your battery dies and you don't know it and you lose your audio. 
this one is connected to the battery that's on the camera. So you always know it's pretty much fail safe that it's going to work. Um, when I was, we've done a couple of videos with Casey Neistat and when we went there a couple months ago, it had been like a year and a half since we'd filmed something together. And I came in and I set the camera down and he looks over and he's like, still using the camcorder, huh? <laughs> and I just kind of laughed and I'm like, ah, this cam. So I definitely, I'm not the coolest looking of all of the YouTubers, but it gets the job done. And if you're a YouTuber, that's a good message. It's like whether you're using an iPhone, a GoPro, like this camera, a super expensive DSLR, or your MKBHD and you've got an $80,000 8K RED, it doesn't really matter. You need to be able to tell a story. You need to be able to make videos, edit them in a way that people want to watch. And so YouTube is more than just the technology you use. So if you found the content in this video valuable so far, can you smash the like button? And you might be wondering, Sean, what is your favorite top pick for YouTube this year? And we actually have two here at Think Media, the Canon M50, but also the brand new Sony A6400. And we just did a head-to-head -head video of our two top picks. So if you wanna watch that, you can click the YouTube card to go check it out. And we'll also post a link to it in the description below. Question of the day, what do you think is the best camera for YouTube this year and why? Let me know in the comment section below.